Hi Aquarius, it's Jackie from Sacred Journeys. How's it going? So let's take a look at the week for 1st through 5th of May. I can't believe it's already that far along in the year. But let's take a little peek at May. And you might notice I'm at a different space today. I'm in Portland, Oregon. I'm up in the Pacific Northwest for a second. Ooh, and I don't know how long I'll be up here. I'm going to go to Bellingham. <laughs> I know you want to know this. <laughs> anyway, so I'm here for a second. That's why it looks different. But Aquarius, you have the two of fire. That is yummy. Right on. So this week, you're going to have opportunities for new partnerships, new contracts. Um, could also be talking about planting the seeds of moving forward, whether it's through your work or your creative skills. It's just a new, just a new opportunity for joining, joining with someone else or moving towards your, your dream and that, just that beautiful next step, right? So I just love how. Look at that card. I hope you can see it. Okay. They're partnered together. And they both look towards a common goal. It's not like they're gazing at each other, right? It's not like they're like, oh, goo goo gaga. They are looking at something in front of them. So that's the important thing here is that this partnership, if there is a partner coming in your way, could be, whoops, it could be, again, you guys have a common goal. Okay, this may not necessarily be a partner as in a romantic partner. This looks like someone who's going to join forces with you for a common goal and that feels good doesn't it this feels really good I mean it could indeed be a partner like a lover but that's not the feeling I have with this Aquarius it feels like someone who's going to join forces with you for a bigger purpose than that you know not that you, you know what I'm saying it's like a common vision shared with another and it may like maybe later it could be a partner partner but whatever just look and see what energies want to join you and what contracts want to hop into your reality. And looky here, the Ace of Air. That's a nice energy. So, yeah, you will probably be meeting someone. And this is about communication. This could be about new ideas, a new book, a new some sort of communication. But it's something really, um, it's new. It's like an adventure, kind of. It's like a download, if you will. It's like a download of something really interesting. And the card here says it could be a challenging beginning to something. So if you are meeting a new partner, maybe for business or like planning a retreat or something like that, something creative, you might have to actually blend, blend those creative ideas to come with something that's mutually beneficial and mutually inspiring that's kind of what I'm feeling because you know this is a new this is a new idea you might actually be creating something that's never been created before and that's awesome it's fascinating but you're gonna have to work it out with someone if you have a partner if you're getting a partner this week to join this whatever this is I keep thinking like an editor <laughs> like if you're writing a book and you're bringing on an editor or something they may want to rewrite parts of it because they don't think, I don't know, whatever. You're going to have to, you're going to have to work on collaborating with somebody else. And that could be, it can be challenging, but it doesn't mean it's not good, right? But yeah, so let's see what happens for you. You might be getting downloads for a book. It's really what I feel, like someone is going to be writing a book. <laughs> and it's almost like, a download like you will be hearing hearing ideas from someone someone else but you're downloading them and writing them so that's exciting so make sure you start meditating if that's you make sure you're meditating so you can hear accurately okay and, uh, yeah and I also want to say if you're downloading information from the ethers meditate and make sure that you ask for only the highest good to come through you, okay? And protect yourself because you don't want anybody that's not love and light to channel through you, okay? Just be wise. That's a nice, that's a side note. Sorry, guys. Let's see what else is going on for Aquarius. Balance. 
Okay, there you go. So I feel like that's true. You've got to really um, stay in balance. If you are, especially in the ethers a lot, which Aquarius, you can be. You're an air sign. You love floating around and hearing stuff. And that's awesome. And you're very savvy. You're articulate. You are, um, you're just connected in a way with your mental capacities, which is beautiful. That In a way that some people don't. But be balanced, okay? Especially for those who are tapping in to other realms. Be balanced. You gotta get in the body. You have to stay grounded, okay? Be grounded in the body and still allow yourself to channel whatever it is that you're channeling, receiving information, but be grounded in the body. Otherwise, yeah, you just it's just a cautionary. I just feel like that it's really important to be grounded. Um, but and be in balance, you know? Like especially like I said, if you're gonna be working with other people. It's about balance. It's about, it can't only be your way. You have to kind of give and take, and you have to compromise on some things, not the deal breakers. Don't compromise who you are or your message. You know what I mean? Don't compromise those important things. But the little things, you can kind of give and take a little bit on that. So, yeah, it just feels like some of you Aquariuses have something really big coming up this week, big opportunities. So just stay balanced, listen, feel with your heart, your feel with your body, how are you feeling about this, and go forward and see what happens. Hmm, that's interesting. So yeah, if you're starting to write a book, let me know. <laughs> I'm excited for you. All right, I'll see you later. Bye, Aquarius.